Hello, Nomad's Sculpt, and I try to reproject the matcap on the vertices. So this is experimental, and yeah, I try it again. So this it's not complicated, but the video is. Um, okay, so here you got your object. At the moment, I use the PBR mode, and this is the same object in in matcap here so here show painting um, so this is matcap and the other thing is here um, pbr and for PBR mode, you see in always unlit and uh, show painting. So this is pure um, a reprojected matcap. So there are yeah a few problems. The backside is um, the problem, but you can reproject um, one side of the mesh for a render view, if you like. So. Okay, how does it work? So I delete everything and I start from the beginning. So the best thing is we need um, or we use Mestella's head here. And so let's use the matcap view. And now we need more topology because we want to reproject it on um, the vertices so we need more poly count so let's subdivide the mesh up to a million and to see a little bit um, a structure on the on the mesh i stamp a few textures here Something like this. Okay, nice. So we can change uh, a little bit the light or the the matcap we want to use. So yeah, and set your view for the render. Now I use. Um, I say I use this view. So here, check your gizmo settings here. On gizmo, turn it off. If it's on, it's not okay, I think. So now we have to add a view, a camera view. So when you now select in the hierarchy the view and use the gizmo, you see here the it's exactly centered on the screen here. This is important. The next thing is we add a primitive, a primitive inside the view, at a plane. So, sorry. So here it's important that gizmo is on when we add the plane. So add the plane. Now the plane. Um, is exactly on the same position as the view. And with the snapping on, we can rotate the plane in the front view and we can validate it. So, okay. The next step is here, the render settings here. Uh, transparent background is important and the square image. So you see here on the side here, the borders of the square and here's something uh, here in the background. So let's pick this scaling option and make sure that the, the plane fits inside the, the cropping frame of the square 
render image. Okay, so at the moment we need uh, we don't need the plane, we need the head, and we render now the head. So press export, and here's our matcap with a transparent background. So save the image and press done. So now we put the, the image to the color slot of the plane. So at the moment we uh, don't see something, use always unlit this checkbox. Um, the next thing is why does the texture not appear? I think we have to use here textures. Okay, so now we have um, our render image exactly aligned to the head here. So now change the distance of this object. So bring it near to the head here that the, the distance is yeah something like this. So we use it uh, for the reprojection. So the next thing here is we can go back and um, so we use now the lit mode and um, we can add a light and our head, sorry, we have to select the head and we can make the head unlit. So you can see clear uh, the colors without affecting uh, the environment and so on. And so the next thing is the reprojecting. Um, we don't need the eyes, so hide the eyes. Oops. Because when you reproject here in the MISC menu, uh, make sure that the reproject only affects um, uh, the image here and not the eyes. So you see here when I uh, make it visible, so the reproject uh, from high res, the value is three, it's bad. <laughs> um, so hide the, the eyes and now let's try to reproject. So here I use here only color for reprojecting and um, these options are off at the moment. Let's try it if it works. So press reproject from high res. So nice, it works. So we can hide the plane and when you use here your camera view, you see here the reprojected uh, matcap. So at the moment there's no environment active so when you use here the environment and here in the settings here um, the object is always unlit so when you select um, uh, the lit option uh, so here it's yeah different so yeah you know what you have to do with it. Um, okay, I hope. So here we can um, change the roughness here um, and and so on. And the problem is the backside a little bit, but um, yeah, you can mirror mirror the whole thing here, or do what you want and have fun with sculpting. <laughs> Ciao.